The next talk will also be in English, and it's been pretty much one year since we here at the Netzpolitischer Abend have been introduced to an awesome project. Its mission, bringing internet access to refugees by self-organized internet cafes, its name, Refugees Emancipation. And we're very happy that tonight we have Eben and Ima here uh, who will present us an update of uh, how Refugees Emancipation is evolving and what steps are coming next. Uh, let's give them a very warm welcome. Yeah, hello. Um, good evening, everybody. And thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to be here today. Um, maybe a, a short presentation of myself. I am Ima Chenko, and I have been working with the Refugees Emancipation since about three years. So um, I guess most of you know what Refugees Emancipation is. But maybe for people who don't know, um, just a couple of sentences about um, this organization. Actually, it was created about um, 14 years ago by some refugees who thought that um, they could um, use um, their time in their refugee homes using internet to do wonderful things like alternative education and other things which uh, this technology can provide. So um, we have about seven centers now in Berlin and Brandenburg. Um, by centers, I mean internet cafes in refugee homes. We have an exception in Berlin, Hellesdorf, where we have an internet cafe out of the refugees' home. That was just the first try, and it's working wonderfully. So actually, uh, we reach uh, more than a 1,000 refugees with the concept each day. So um, practically, it works like this at the first level. It's just about providing um, internet access to the refugees, which they use for communication, information, and so on. So at the second level, um, internet today um, provides other things. I mean, we use these rooms for empowerment and political activities. We give um, NACIF to refugee children with in collaboration with university students. We have women project. We have computer classes and orientation for refugees at the second level in these um, internet cafes. So as he already said, we were here last year and we launched um, a campaign on Better Place um, to help refugees emancipation um, cover its costs for one year. And it was a very, very successful campaign. And that's why we are here once more today to um, give you a feedback of what has happened with your support. And um, in relation to your support, I just want to thank you sincerely to all our supporters. And um, with Eben, we're going to tell you a little bit what has happened. We have a video, and I, I am afraid the quality is very poor, but I think the message is going to go through. It was made by some refugees themselves. So, um, I mean, uh, we sincerely thank you for your support. Um, it has enabled us to stabilize the internet cafes by compensating the coordinators who work there. Uh, these coordinators are the bridge between the refugees and the civil society or supporters who come to the home to help. The coordinators spend hours to open the center and help other people like create email addresses and so on. So um, coordinators meetings have started to be organized in the goal of building internal and external platforms to bring out issues from the refugee perspective. Empowerment concepts like paying tickets to refugees to do computer classes have started. These basic computer and orientation courses teach the refugees how they can use the internet from their day-to-day -day needs, how to learn the language online, search for a house, alternative education, and so on. We have been able to continue with two important projects, NACHILF, as I mentioned before, for children and the empowerment workshops for women. Refugees Emancipation Coordination Office in Potsdam has been, it has been helped through the support. We have been able to do the coordination of all the internet cafes, pay the bills, bring material and human resources together, carry out administrative and public relations work, as well as the perspective of moving the organization has been made possible. As a political organization, we intend to take advantage of our presence in eight refugee camps, which gives us the possibility to network with thousands of refugees each day. Um, 
as I said before, it's better we hear from the horse's own mouth. So we have um, some people who have directly benefited from your support. So um, maybe we're going to play the video so that we can have these images. Voilà, aux années dernières, parce que par rapport au support que nous avons eu, là que mon voice maintenant peut nous donner quelque chose pour pouvoir arrêter nos bouches avec. Voilà, beaucoup. Voilà, tout ce que je partage cette année. Comme les laptops, on a eu certains ont eu des laptops. Et ça nous aide aussi par rapport au support que les gens nous apportent. Je vous remercie beaucoup pour ça. Hi, my name is uh, Said Khan. I'm a coordinator of refugee emancipation here in Hellerstorf, Berlin. Um, this year has been a wonderful year uh, regarding the previous years. Um, many uh, things improved here in this refugee emancipation center. Um, refugees are now able to come here to uh, refugees Emancipation Center and use free Wi-Fi and also um, go on computers and uh, connect their families uh, and also this year we have been able to get Chromebooks uh, and this has improved privacy um, uh, confidence their confidence in their privacy dass ich von Heim. Ich wohne hier schon ein Jahr. Äh, Internet von Refugees Emancipation ist sehr wichtig für uns, weil wir äh, viele Möglichkeiten haben. Zum Beispiel, wir können äh, E-Mail zu schicken oder wir haben ein kleines Kind, der kann äh, Kindersendungen sehen und äh, in Internet von Refugees Emancipation gefällt uns. Меня зовут Наташа, я живу на Маринфельде, и для нас очень важен интернет Refugees Emancipation, потому что мы можем общаться со своими родными, учить немецкий, и дополнительно также у нас есть маленький ребенок, который просто обожает Мексику. Ich bin Nina Schmitz und bin ein Teil des Leitungsteams aus der Gemeinschaftsunterkunft am Mutetal. Wir haben hier bis zu 215 Bewohner und Bewohnerinnen im Haus und Refugees Emancipation ist seit 2009 hier in den Räumlichkeiten bei uns vor Ort. Kann auch, können hier in diesen Räumlichkeiten auch wieder mehr Gruppenarbeit stattfinden und die Flexibilität von den Kollegen von Refugees Emancipation, die ich im letzten Jahr erlebt habe, die ist sehr wirkungsvoll. Und das ist eine wundervolle Zusammenarbeit. Hier in den Räumlichkeiten von Refugees Emancipation ganz viel auch Kindernachhilfe bzw. Hausaufgabenhilfe ist. Und da wirklich in den letzten zwei Jahren mit Sicherheit die Menschen, die hier wirken, uns auch ganz viel Arbeit mit den Kindern abgenommen haben. Und das, wir haben keine Erzieherin oder einen Erzieher. Und das ist ja die Arbeit, die hier auch gelaufen ist. Also für die Gruppenarbeit im Haus ähm, als erweitertes Angebot ist es sehr ist es existenziell gewesen in den letzten zwei Jahren. My name is Chu Eben and I'm um, one of the coordinators of Refugees Emancipation. Um, but I don't coordinate from from a Rotheim. I coordinate from an office which we um, which we have in Potsdam and, and we try to coordinate in context of logistics in terms of human resources also in terms of what financial needs uh, we may have in the internet cafes are here at the office I would say the support we've got from last year from uh, what 
you people have tried to support us and help us in, in the organization has been for me personally uh, has removed me from a, situ a precarious situation into a context of uh, having an orphan house and uh, being able to have a solid ground and to plan more better for the future we have been able to also just due to the support you people gave us to be more involved in networking in the civil society where we have received some laptops which we or chromebooks which we use in terms of going out to the different uh, refugee homes but also in the internet cafes we have been able to support and uh, make the refugee the uh, where we have uh, internet cafes in about uh, eight different homes the coordinators who work endlessly uh, more than eight hours uh, and are obliged to help other refugees to have some kind of a support to make the internet cafes to be more stable and more sustainable we have uh, also built uh, new internet cafes uh, about uh, uh, three new internet cafes we have been able to have uh, solve a big problem which is that how do we uh, support children or make children to also have access to the internet but have their own space so we've been able to build special rooms and with computers for children we have been able to organize seminars and workshops for coordinators to know how to run their internet cafes and to build new ways on which we can network we have had in all the internet cafes also computer classes and we have been able to pay for fat costing for the refugees some from different cities and different towns and different land crises to benefit from a very important instrument which is knowing how to use uh, communication utilities for their day-to-day -day living condition we have been able to to support us to go to different land crises and different places where we don't have internet cafes to use the notebook to buy internet connectivity this is very important for us to use the um, the Chromebooks or the laptops. We have been able to start uh, and uh, start thinking and having um, a way forward to build a political platform, which has not been easy because you need the right basis, you need to bring people together, you need to have a certain um, format. And um, because of your support, we've started discussing and able to build a uh, whether it's website, Facebook, or maybe even a political platform for refugees. Due to the advantage we have in having so many internet cafes and having so many refugees using uh, our internet cafes. This is what we've managed to do. But however, we would like to do more. Since there is so much to be done, we only try to do maybe, I don't know, 0.1%. But uh, we, would, we would like to do everything we've been doing um, because we think it's very important and more and more refugees have, the number of refugees have increased so we would like to access more refugees to access um, uh, to gain access into our our platforms into our rooms uh, more refugees to access a VLAN which we do in Sondheim's we try to give VLAN access to the rooms and, and right to the rooms of refugees, but we know this is not easy. It needs a lot of um, support. Uh, so we we'll definitely want to access more refugees who, by creating new internet cafes, but also continuing with their computer courses and also um, um, supporting or bringing Wi-Fi connections into more homes um so that more and more refugees could really access internet uh, we count on your support um, to accomplish this is absolutely important for us that we don't discourage we don't make the internet cafes to be unstable again if we don't have the support so we count on you that we can only increase and our presence can be felt and through our own channels we can build an opinion in the civil society. Thank you for everything you've done and hope 
and that we will have something more better again this year to move forward. It's Jasper Willow. Um, I spent a year in Cameroon and have then come back to Germany and started teaching uh, refugees German. So um, whilst doing these German courses, uh, I got to know the yeah, larger Cameroonian community, you could say, in Berlin and Brandenburg. And so through this partnership, I also you know, got to know refugees and emancipation. Uh, I'm sure you all know about refugees and emancipation already, um, and also about Mr. Chu. So talking with Mr. Chu, we decided that now it's time to take one step further, and that is to start opening up uh, internet centers in Cameroon. The resources we already have are computers, keyboards, um, you know, mice, we, we have all of those things already. Um, and we're very thankful for our partners for supplying us with all of these things. Um, so right now in Douala, we've got quite a large supply of computers and, and, and everything really uh, necessary in that sense, also scanners. So, but now what we need, for example, is a generator. Now I talked about the difficulties that we have in Maniem, being that we don't have a constant supply or a supply at all to ele electricity. So this is a well, it's a fairly small scale operation that we're trying to start right now, but if we do get more support, then we can make something a lot greater. We can actually start thinking of how we can acquire a small piece of land so we can actually build a proper building for this internet center. So, I mean, more is always possible and we can actually make a place where it's, it's not just for the computer, just, not just for the internet, but you can also in, in, enjoy a small cup of coffee somewhere, you can have you know, your tea. So it's also a, it's a, it's a gathering point. And this is important because um, we, we're not running a business. And this is very important. We, we're not going to run a business. Um, what we want to run is a, is a community operation. So it's a, it's a community center at the, at the end of the day. So it should also be a place where people can meet and people can talk about all different kinds of issues, uh, what's been happening in the news, you know, and uh, through the internet we can give this kind of information. As Emancipation is giving me is a, is a very good impression. Um, and uh, I've been around, I've seen some of the internet centers that are actually situated here, in, as you know, uh, Berlin and Brandenburg. And so to see the, the fruit of the, of the work really makes me believe that we can start something great in Cameroon too. And we, we, it doesn't just have to be Cameroon. You know, but this is this is just us. To, you know, we have to we have to go with small steps forwards. And so I think if we can really start something in Manila, you know, we'll we'll have something to show for sure. Okay. Um. Our goal has always been, um, first of all, internet access and then empowerment. But I think the main objective for us as a self-organized political group is um, political platforms. And um, I was, when I, I see this crowd, I am just thinking how it would be great if we could have connected instead of watching a video, we could connect directly to the Internet Cafe in Eisenhutenstadt. And you could talk directly with the refugees from these very isolated places. Um, we hope that this year we'll, uh, we can really work on the issues of political platforms. How could refugees participate directly using virtual concepts? Um, that's why we begging on your support that we should not only continue what we did last year, but that this year we could really improve in this direction of building networks directly with the refugees, using virtual concepts, talking to them directly, streaming online. All of it is possible. And if people are attacked by neo Nazis in some remote village in uh, Rehfeld or somewhere, we could see it directly. And uh, we hope that you could support us in this direction where we can build an editorial team of you know, the coordinators of the Internet Cafe and um, 
develop our own platforms where we can express things from our perspective. We hope that this year we should focus on that. But of course, building new internet cafes, it is, it's important that there is a free space within this control spaces where we don't only have internet, but we can see how we can use that internet collectively to um, bring out the situation of the refugees. And I think all of this is possible if we shift. We have about, we got a lot of laptops and Chromebooks but logistically, we have to take them to those faraway places. We, there are many refugees who are interested in alternative education. They, I mean, they are far away there. How do they access internet? You know, and these are some of the challenges which we face, and we hope to have some solutions to them this year. So um, I don't know how far... I whether it's still on better place or when are we starting a campaign for this year. But we are here to start a campaign for 2016-2017. We want to keep the momentum we started last year and we hope that um, more and more refugees could see that internet is a means of bringing out some of the very difficult situations in which they are living. Thank you for supporting us. Well, thanks for coming here and uh, presenting um, the update and letting us see a little bit of the reality of refugees' emancipation. And um, Monique, you want to talk more about how to support and where to support? or Yeah? All right, then. I just want to give back the answer. If you can specify a little bit how this crowd can maybe help you. We talked about that before, so I just remind you <laughs> to call. Okay, what, what can people do and where, where, shall, where shall they go? Which um, actually, um, like last year, we have a Better Place um, site where you can donate either financially, materially, or, or, or also your time. So um, I don't know if there's a possibility that we put our Better Place page maybe somewhere where everybody can like look at it or have access to it. Um, Yeah, like in the next weeks we're going to really start. But we, we, anybody can already donate because we always have needs there. But we're going to really, um, in the next weeks, um, talk to many people as possible. So you can also talk to companies or other friends uh, which you have and um, draw attention to this uh, wonderful project uh, where they can donate. Especially at the end of the year, we really want to target um, potential uh, donors. Another thing, especially that goes out to this crowd, since the supporters group from last year has also, some of them have went to other projects, we need more supporters within the, uh, for example, website. Like Refugees Emancipation, we just have now online the support.refugeesemancipation.com, but we would like to update there or need help to update Refugees Emancipation with their own website. So if anybody from you here want to help to build the new website for refugee emancipation in terms of developing, writing text, um, translating, um, video editing, graphically support, graphic support, whatever. So please contact them. You can contact them under info at refugeesemancipation.com. That is one point. So we built the website of refugee emancipation. Another one is for sure the donation here. And then starting of next year, there will be a second campaign on Better Place be launched. Regarding, will you tell something about it? Like um, one of the things we, we, we realize is that uh, the experience in which we have got here um, could also be taken to Africa. And uh, I met two students from Potsdam University and we spent three months in Cameroon and what um, you saw, ja Jasper Whitlow. Yeah. We saw, uh, so what he did was we went to a village about, there are about 3,000 to 4,000 people there and we did some scientific research and asking questions to people 
Um, but we found out that it's um, people have a very strong desire to use the internet. And so what we want to do is we want to start a small internet cafe there. And uh, there are so many issues which we could um, help people or make people to get a better understanding. And that's a campaign we want to do in, in January to see how we can start a small internet cafe. That will be extra for Cameroon next year. But I think this is, um, uh, could you log into the better place? This is, the, uh, yeah. So that's the. Uh, that's where you can go to better place if you want to support us, but you could support us as Iba said also on hardware and your time. Yeah. So we will like um, you can see these are the needs until the end of 2016. So it will be updated in next week for the needs for next year. Approximately one internet cafe needs 7,000 euro per year to be run. Um, and the bureau on Potsdam is, I think, per quarter. We said about what does it say, like nine thousand, yeah. bit less than nine thousand euros per quarter, because that's where all the coordination happens. That includes, like I already told you, um, uh, a lot of things um, and so on. And in the Cameroon project, there's also the idea to combine that with the Bundesfreiwilligenjahr, yeah. and that's very important. So it also includes for you the chance to, um, uh, or people you know maybe, uh, to um, attend the Bundesfreiwilligenjahr and then go to Cameroon and help there with building the, the house for the refugee home, also the accommodation for the attendees it's themselves, um, and so on and so on, right? So that's, I think, the very important point that you plan to have this combined with the Bundesfreiwilligenjahr. And also there's a need for help with fundraising. So if anybody of you are able to do that. We have no specific fundraiser here, but it's definitely, as you see, the amount of money is not so low. You would definitely need uh, a help of, uh, if there's anybody like kind of professional with fundraising or applying for funding and programs, Anträge schreiben und so. Okay, there's plenty of support to be given, but maybe for now let's just uh, say thank you for first, for presenting your work and for doing this work. And maybe let's open the discussion or talk to the public. Are there questions or just um, questions or remarks from the public? Anybody knows how they can help? Okay, then have Heißt das nicht freiwilliges soziales Jahr? FSJ? Bundesfreiwilligendienst FSJ gibt, sind, glaube ich, unterschiedliche Modelle und ich weiß jetzt nicht, für welches die sich entschieden haben, aber ob sie mit dem Bundesfreiwilligendienst scheint mit dem Bundesfreiwilligendienst zusammen zu sein. Also Bundesfreiwilligendienst. Right. Okay, any other questions? All right then, let's all go to the Better Place page, which is displayed up there.